What are you doing? Get out of my pool! <laughs> you know what, you bitch? You showed down my jewel. I'm about to beat the duck out of you. <laughs> What's up? It is Sunday, uh, August 11th, 521 AM. As you can see, beautiful day outside. I'm pumped. We had a great day yesterday. Today's gonna be a great day. We're just gonna keep stacking, that's it. But training for today, at least what it looks like, is a 17 mile run. And then I have a 45 minute recovery ride on the trainer because we ran 100 miles yesterday. Nope, we didn't run. We biked 100 miles yesterday. And I'm gonna show the clips from that after the run segment over breakfast because I was gonna do like a two part like day in the life yesterday, day in the life today. But after that 100 mile bike, I got home and it got up to like 104 degrees out towards the end of it. And I literally just like passed out and just like spent the rest of the day just like lying on my floor. I was like cooked. And I'm also gonna lift today. I think I'm gonna deadlift which after a long bike and a long run doesn't seem like the most logical thing, but if I do so in a controlled manner, it can only be beneficial. Like I said, 5.20ish right now. My power went out in the middle of the night and I freaked out, but like now like, it says that it's 2.21, but it's 5.23. So I'm gonna have to fix that. Yeah, we're meeting up with Gavin in a little over an hour at uh, the Hunt Trail, which is where I do, did I record that? That's where BP ended my day in the life, like the running segment. That, it's a 3.2 mile loop. If you can't tell, I'm a big loop enthusiast. And I'm gonna be doing 17 miles on it. I'm gonna talk a little bit more about the workout when we get with Gavin. Right now, I'm just gonna kinda clean up some dishes a little bit and go through the uh, pre-run fueling. So our pre-long run meal, I don't know why it looks funny, but yeah. A banana, and then a go bar with some honey on top. I don't know why, I just wanted to add a little bit of honey. Uh, some black coffee, and then two scoops of G1M Sport. Meal comes out close to 100 grams of carbs, right off the bat, um, which I've been trying to like really up my carb intake, it's considering like how much effort I'm putting into these workouts. I just realized I'm most likely burning a lot more that I think, so yeah, we're really focusing on that. I just know, oh my God. It's a fucking spider dangling from my light. I don't like that. Six thirty nine a.m. We are here at the Hunt Trail. Um, I'm just gonna show you guys everything we got going on. For fueling today, what I did, I showed you guys my breakfast, and the goal is we wanna be pushing close to 80 grams of carbs per hour. So essentially, I have another two scoops of G1M in here, which is another 40 grams of carbs, and then two Go Gels, which I'm gonna be taking at the 30 minute mark and then the hour mark. So after our first hour or so of running, I might push close to like 10 miles of running, uh, run back at the car, we've got two more Go Gels, and then another two scoops of G1M in here. So we're gonna refill the water bottle, grab those Go Gels, get going. And then that's just water. I'm gonna be running today in the Nike Zoom Fly 5s. Like I said in my last video, this is like by far my favorite pair of running shoes that I've had. This is like my third pair in the past year or so. Super durable shoe. They do have like a slight carbon plate in it. So like you do feel somewhat fast running it with them. So I like them a lot. Garmin heart rate monitor, which has been much more accurate than the handheld when it comes to recording my heart rate. So especially this deep into Ironman prep when we are hyper-focused on even like the smallest details. This plays massive benefits. Roka sunglasses in there. And then this is Tri Slide. It's essentially enhanced squirrel nut butter with a slightly better name. Tri Slide's not that much better, but anti-chafing because it's going to get really hot here within the next, I guarantee, like hour. It's already hot right now. I have no idea why I'm wearing a sweatshirt. I'm going to get everything on, get everything situated, warm up a little bit. Really 
our goal today is just get the mileage in, get the volume in. That's what like these long training days are all about, these long training weeks. It's just like pushing straight volume. So we're gonna be smart, but I also wanna push myself a little bit with it. We can't focus on mile 17 or later parts of the run without having even started it yet. So let's get started. Ten and a half in. Honestly, it felt so fucking smooth the whole time. Let's see what my heart rate is. Um, 8.36 average pace, not too shabby. Heart rate, 152. Eh, a little hot, but it's all good, it's hot out. Um, as you can see, neighborhood's waking up. Two more laps. I think I'm gonna reverse the loop now because I've been going uphill this whole time, which kind of sucks. Yeah, man, everything's felt super smooth. Just another hot Texas morning for you. I'm gonna go ahead and take the Go Gel. I would take it mile 12 now. Everything's felt like really good so far. Which I'm stoked about. God, that tastes good. One last little bit. And since it is time to go fast, it's finding time to put the speed goggles on. Just let it rip the last six miles. Seven miles, six and a half, six and a half. But it's only like rip for three and a half and then cool down to three. Yeah, you got it. miles, two hours, 26 minutes, 8.37 pace. It's hot, oh my God. But what got me through that last little bit is I was thinking about when the day comes when I'm a dad and I had to bring like my nine-year-old son to the baseball fields right here. I mean, maybe not these fields, but like Saturday morning, playing catch with the kid, the little things, you know, but yeah, I'm stoked I ran 17 miles. Like that's pretty, pretty damn good. I'm gonna go home, shower, and uh, show you guys this smoothie that I've been making when I don't go to Juice Land and drop $45 on two smoothies. I make this like massive one at home. And then, like I said, we had an easy spin on the bike, which is really, I'm actually excited for that because I think it could be beneficial for my knees, just getting blood flow to the lower body. And then, speaking of lower body, we got deadlifts later, but I'm gonna play it by ear because I might switch up a little bit depending on how the body's feeling after the bike. But right now, go home, shower, and refuel. That was fun. There's always the best part. They just get to do something stupid and I throw this job up and people are like, yeah! See, is the lighting good back here? Yeah, this is like perfect. <laughs> oh, I hate myself. I know I really just cropped up a decent amount, but like, come on, like this is like 
the best fitting shirt. I, I love it, but we're gonna make a smoothie now. Like I said with Gavin, I've been making this a decent amount recently because after my long training sessions here, the, the only thing I want is just like fruit and something super refreshing. So I've taken a bunch of fruit. I'll just show you guys. So start off with just some frozen blueberries. I don't weigh any of this. I kind of just go by like the eye test and do a decent amount. Then I go ahead and do a triple berry blend, which has raspberries, blackberries, blueberries. Yeah. Then go ahead, toss a whole banana in there. Then I go ahead and add some non-fat Greek yogurt, this is the, just plain, and some peanut butter into it as well. Now here's where I BPNify it and add a bunch of supplements into it. So if you want to, just leave it at that. If you want to see like, the supplements that I've been adding to it, here they are. First up, scoop of collagen, need it for the joints, and it's just good, you know extra protein. It's unflavored as well, so you don't even notice it's in there. Second up, a scoop of InFocus. What? Well, yeah, I essentially just now put all the ingredients I used to have in like that morning shake, uh, the reds, the greens, the InFocus, the creatine. I just throw it into here. And it tastes a lot better because there's fruit with it. We got a scoop of strawberry electrolytes, a scoop of the pineapple coconut strong greens, a scoop of the acai strong reds, and then lastly for the supplements, a scoop of recover. Just some essential amino acids, super helpful after a long workout. And then to top it all off, I use almond milk just as like the, um, I don't know, the liquid for it. And I feel like Three quarters, halfway. That looks good. And now it's gonna be really loud. I just kind of blend until it's like a smoothie texture. So I'm gonna save your guys' ears and just. But yeah, very refreshing. Obviously, it's not like a protein smoothie because it's really like just the collagen, the Greek yogurt, and the peanut butter. Um, it's more of just like micronutrients super refreshing, very e easy glycogen replenishment with all the fruit that I have in there. For my fats, my protein, I get that from like my actual solid meal, my actual breakfast, which I'm gonna make the same breakfast today as I did yesterday, so I can do a little throwback clip right now to the 105 mile bike ride and all the stuff that I recorded yesterday, because there wasn't that much, but I wanna include it in the video. So yeah, here is the flashback. more minutes to go but I'm just gonna do it out there. I'm gonna show the, the computer real quick. Yeah. 100 miles, five hours. I'll take one of these real quick. It's gonna be more of a shuffle, but that's what we gotta do. We gotta get ready for an iron man.
96, like feels like over 100. 30 minutes, 30 minutes, 30 minutes. Oh, dude, Grandma. Twenty-five miles longer than I've ever done before. At a faster pace than I've ever done it before. Yeah, I wish I could have ran a little bit better. Yeah, I wish I could have ran a little bit longer, but just now with the day I had planned. We got a 16 mile long run tomorrow. Want to make it 17? Get back at it. Let's do it. Ah, oh, oh my God. Ah. It was like six hours of just like straight work. Oh my god. Just like salt all over here. Woo, we did it though. That's all that fucking matters. I'm proud of myself. Even the best thing is like on the bike, I think I stopped for like seven minutes in total. Five minutes to change out my water bottles and to check my air pressure. And then just two minutes to grab water at the end before we went out. So like, I was really working like the whole fucking time. It wasn't like I was taking breaks. Ah! My eyes just burn. You wear sunglasses for so long and everything's so bright. Ah! I just like, crave fruit after like long work. And that was long work. Woo! I do something like this side. It looks so much cooler at my house. Went to McPre and I spilt it all over myself, so that's fun. But it doesn't even matter because in Texas, everything dries really fast. I left the bike outside for 10 minutes, entirely dry. Back inside, I, the, the heat here just on my, I'll step outside and you won't even know that I spilt this all over myself. But yeah, I'm doing just flight and creatine. Haven't really been feeling endo pump recently. That's just me. Um, we're gonna go meet Cheryl at Lyft. Have a great time. Also, real quick, before I head out, I'm just gonna have my vitamins. So, start off, strong joints. Then I got some strong multivitamin. And then lastly, strong omega. And away we go. Oh, hey, how we doing?
first of all, before I even say anything, I want to just like say a massive thank you to all of you guys. The support on the YouTube videos is so nuts, but like my favorite thing is so many of you like when I just like talk. And like that sounds so like narcissistic and weird, but like I try really hard to be very genuine and to like vocalize what's actually going through my head as opposed to being like this super stoic, like, yep, all I do is what, like, I know, like, I talk about like human emotion a lot because like it means a lot to me and everyone is just like very appreciative of the fact that I talk about it. So like, I, I think, thank you guys for allowing me this platform and opportunity to talk about mental health because it truly is everything I've always wanted to do. And to be entirely honest, like, I haven't been this just like genuinely happy to like be alive. And like, I don't mean that in a dramatic way, but like every single day I wake up and I'm like so grateful to be where I am, so grateful to be like what I'm doing. And it's just super uplifting because for like a very long time, I feel like I really struggled with like who I was as a human being and like what I wanted to do. And I had a conversation with my dad on the phone the other day and he's like, dude, like you are living your dream. Like you are actively living out your dream. And I'm like, holy shit. Like it's nuts. Like, I'm so, so grateful for it. But, like one thing that I've really taken away from like the time that I've had, especially in Austin, as like everything's just kind of like picked up a lot since I've been here, is that you don't need a reason to have a good day. And it sounds really weird, but like what I mean by that is you don't necessarily need to have something in particular happen in order to be in a good mood. You can just be in a good mood. Like any aspect of your day, you can turn into a positive and like bam, like that's why you're genuinely happy. For a while, I was like so product driven where I feel like I just kept telling myself, oh, once this happens, I'll be happy. Oh, once I get this, once I achieve this, I'll be all good. But what I've like truly come to realize is that like it's not the product itself that provides you with the sense of like gratitude or joy. It's the journey. It's the very small things that continue to compound day after day, hour after hour, that make it a good day, a good life. Like you can have a good day because you had a good workout. You could have a good day because you talked to a loved one. You could have a good day because you had a good meal. It doesn't have to be this like super grand gesture or like just profound event in order for it to be considered a good day. Like any point in your day, you could be like, that's cool, that's great, that makes me happy, I'm having a good day. It doesn't have to be this continuously, I'm always searching for my purpose, I'm always like trying to figure out what I have to, to do to be happy. Sometimes you can just be, and the simple act of being present throughout the day will provide you with like the very realistic joy that being alive is a privilege. Being able to wake up every day and decide what you want to think, decide how you want to live, it's, it's truly something that I think it's taken for granted a lot. And it, I definitely took it for granted for a very long time because I didn't realize just how much good you can do, not only for yourself, but for other people by doing. As a human being, I think my most defining characteristic, and I don't mean this in like a boastful or bragging way, but you could ask like any of my friends from high school, from college, my friend, or my family. Um, like my most defining trait is that I'm a very hard worker and that I'm a very, I guess number two would be that I'm very empathetic, that I care a lot about other people. So what I did was I was just like, okay, like what can I do to provide value to others, to take care of others, to help others, because that's like what I've always wanted to do, by just focusing on those two traits of being hardworking and being empathetic. And now I get to sit here and continuously have these good days because I just realized like what I'm doing, uh, even I'm like, the days that I do the absolute least, like I have the opportunity to like benefit someone. I have the opportunity to be a good person, have a positive influence on someone else's day. And so do you. You can hold the door for someone. You could pay for someone's coffee in the line behind you. Like you can just smile at a stranger on your walk in the morning. There's so many just like small gestures that you can do on a daily basis that could have profound impact on other people's lives without you even realizing it. I think there's so much power in having a positive mindset and obviously you want to be realistic with yourself like when shit hits the fan because it does in life like sit and be real with it allow it to affect you because you that's your experience like you are supposed to be going through that even the toughest times even the times where you're like what the hell is the purpose of this like what am i supposed to take away from it like just sit for a sec don't always be in like such a rush to get through the bad workouts the bad days because 
there are learning lessons in them if you just like take a step back and just understand like okay like this is what I was supposed to go through right now like what do I learn from this so I really encourage you to go out there and do two things one have a good day for no reason at all just genuinely like be in a good mood and if someone asks you why you're just in a good mood you don't need to explain having a positive mindset you don't need to explain being a good person there doesn't always have to be like this transactional kind of interaction with other people you can just be kind to others you can just be supportive to others and not expect anything in return because i'm such a strong believer that like the more good you put out in the world the more will come back to you and then in return you just continue to put more good out in the world you know it's not like oh i'm gonna do this nice thing because i, I expect something to like come back to me it's like no like just be a good person like just like show love to others because you genuinely don't know what other people are going through and you really don't know how much of an impact you could have on someone else's life by just being kind to them and that's number two is be kind to a stranger, be kind to a loved one, just be kind to someone for no reason at all because you genuinely want to. I guarantee, one, it'll like make their day. Like just a simple act will be absolutely profound to them. And two, it'll probably make you feel a lot better too because you realize you're like, wow, I can have such a positive influence with little effort. I'm telling you, hold the door for someone, smile at someone, they'll most likely smile back. If they don't smile at you, you can laugh at yourself put yourself in a good mood and then bam right there it's a it's a positive feedback loop if you allow it to be which i think is really cool but yeah overall message for this yap session is have a good day have a good life for the sole reason of having a good day and having a good life because the more that you focus on simply just showing up every day with a positive attitude and being kind to others you're going to look back on everything and be like wow like not only am I happier with myself, but I'm happier with my life as a whole. It is 3.10 right now. I'm gonna make some oats. I'm gonna throw on the compression sleeves. And I'm gonna take off this sweatshirt. I put on this sweatshirt because I'm like, oh, I haven't worn this in a while. I live in Texas and it's the middle of the summer. I don't need to be wearing a sweatshirt right now, okay? We're gonna post up for a little bit. I still do have to bike. The list went super good. Shout out to homie Cheryl. I'm seeing if anyone wants to do anything else, but looking pretty slow so might just be a chill sundown so like, don't mind it Easy 45 minute spin on Zwift. Then we'll make some dinner. Maybe go bother Ian for a little bit. That'll be the day. And we're done. You can actually see that I'm editing the video right now. And I just got to do an outro, so we're doing the outro now. But yeah, overall, very good weekend. Um, I think for me, when it comes to the long workouts, it follows a similar notion to what I was explaining about having a good day where you kind of just have to just go through it and regardless of how it goes, obviously you can either go good or bad, but like you're just doing it and you can't be so caught up in the middle of it of hitting every single split or your heart rate or your pain. It's just like you just have to do it. You know what I'm saying? You just have to have the good day. You just have to do the workout because you're going to feel a lot better afterwards regardless of what happens. Um, you just have to remind yourself, it's like, hey, I'm showing up, I'm committing, this is a part of the process that needs to occur, so just be grateful that you're enduring it, and just keep on pushing. But yeah, that's going to go ahead and end today's video. I want to thank you all very much for watching. I want to give a big thank you to Gavin Solis. I love that kid so much. He's my videographer. The videos that he got for this video um, of me biking and running are unreal. So Gavin, huge shout out to you. BPN, Gymshark, Code Hop, all that down below. Uh, Inner Flame, my coaching with all my training plans, triathlon plan, it's all down there. Um, so if you're interested, check it out. If not, totally all good. But yeah, once again, like always, I just want to thank you guys very much so for watching. I appreciate you all. 
more than I have the words to explain. But I hope you have a great rest of the day, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.